Go Trek Gurnison, coming up next on Monster Hobbies, What's in the Box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody and welcome back to another great review and today we are looking at Gore Tech Gunnarsson. This is one of the new Games Workshop releases. I just happened to get it and I play dwarfs and I've been playing with this guy's War Scrolls and he is amazing. Can destroy Nagesh in two turns. We actually tried it out here just as a demo run before the model even came out. So now I'm holding the model. This is like week one of from the release. It's really, really cool. It's got a really good bunch of stuff on the back. So without further ado, uh, let's go down to our unboxing bench and see what's in the box. Bursting forth from the past comes Gotrek Gurnison, the greatest dwarf slayer to ever exist. And we finally get to take a look at this brand new model kit from Games Workshop, a limited run figure. And it's an amazing model kit that brings the kill back to the dwarf Dwarden armies of the Dispossessed. <laughs> no, I own Dispossessed. Actually, he's a universal soldier, which is great. So if we take a look at the back of the box, you can see all the great details on here, such as the shield on his arm, the great hand holding the thing over here, the Fire Slayer axe that he got, Zig Zagron Thraz, the pile of scavens he's standing on, and the Craig Blackhammer's Master Rune. That's the thingy he's holding up there. You get rules in this model as well, and here's the call-out paint colors. This is the size of him, 100% magnification. So, really cool, and now I want to take my old Boy Scout pocket knife here and open up this model and show everyone out there what's in the box. So I'll just remove the plastic here and we'll get right into our pieces. Look at the Gotrek. The Gotrek's amazing. He is fantastic. Oh yes he is. All right, so the first thing we look at here are the instruction sheets and they are in amazing full Technicolor. Anyway, copyright 2019 Games Workshop. Read this first or else you shall not begin your Slayer adventure. And the nice thing is, if you get the um, audio books, Gotrek is played by Brian Blessed, one of my most favorite British actors, because he has that amazing voice, Edmund Blackadder. <laughs> anyway, so there he is in all the glory. So here's our color instruction sheets. Nice little book format. Now there's something interesting here. I do believe that you can mount them on two different base sizes. So we have all these pieces going together and they're color coded to tell you what's coming next on each of the things. And here you see it, it says optional. So you can mount Gotrek onto this part of a base onto a 32 millimeter base. Or there's the second part here where you can actually mount him on the 40 millimeter base. So it depends on how you want your model to be at the end. And there's a uh, Gotrek going together. He's going together to fight the evil one. <laughs> there's his head going on there. And uh, of course you got all this other coolness, the mightiness. Okay, so now after you've glued your model together, they have, da 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 da, the English War Scrolls for him. And I've played this guy. I printed off the War Scrolls from the GW community uh, channel on Facebook. And um, I've played him against some of the friends at the store. And he is totally devastating. It's unbelievable. I'll just do on the axe itself. Has a one inch range, you get six attacks, it's three to hits, three to wound, minus two rend, does three damage. And then if you actually read about it, you will find that at the end of the combat phase, if this model is within three inches of an enemy unit, the model can fight again. He does massive wounds, damages. I have uh, personally taken out Nagesh in two turns with him. So then we get the war scrolls in French. 
Let's just move this here. French, Spanish, German, or Dutch. Dutch, I do believe. Forgive me there. No, it would be German and Italian. So, there you have him. Gotrek Gernison. The man is amazing! <laughs> okay, let's look at the plastic bits. And now we have the one and only sprue parts tree in here for Gotrek Gernison, the amazing Slayer Dwarf! Okay, now that you've survived that, here's the axe. This is parts of the Skaven base where he's standing on. And then you got his beard here, his legs, um, his hair, and there's the shield, his arm. I'm not sure what this is. I have to take a closer look here. So, by saying that, let's bring this up into the camera. Of course, every sprue has two sides. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. So, speaking of the sides, there's that line shield right there. You can see the detail again is really above par for these figures. Beautiful work by Games Workshop. There's a little chain and he's holding that rune in his hand. The Slayer hair in two pieces. There's his legs and his boots. Oh, this is the piece that's right there. <laughs> the piece de resistance. And then actually his hair is in three pieces because there's a part attached up here. That's the, his back and that's his front. <laughs> There's the big axe sitting there. This is a fire slayer's axe, so you get to paint the fire inside. Which is really cool. There's a chain again. Uh, yeah, look at the detail on there with the chain mail. Really good. Now, here's the base. You got the barrels and the skaven on there. So you can build this as a display model or use the smaller size to have him as an actual in-game combat model. You can see the nice wood grain on there. Excellent job by Games Workshop again. Very well done. Even got some of the Skaven weaponry and some of the squash Skaven he's defeating. And of course there's a Skaven shield on there and many other great details. I love the barrels. <laughs> All right, so that is the parts tree for Gotrek Gernison. And now these are your two bases. You get a 40 millimeter and a 32. So, what do you think of this review? Is it not amazing? Edmund, let me know! And that concludes our look at Gotrek Gernison, the greatest slayer to ever exist. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this great review of Gortek Gernison, and I hope that you get this and are able to build it and start destroying Nagash and everything else. It has always been a real sore spot for us dwarf players. You know, you guys know when you're playing dwarfs with uh, the old dispossessed Dwarden, old Dwarden, that they usually get stomped by everybody. But now we have Gorthrek and he shall destroy everything. Haha. <laughs> anyway, so while you're out there, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel with all your friends and family. Remember that I am Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada, and if you need Warhammer stuff, come on down and see us. I may not have everything in stock, but guess what? It's only a phone call away, and I can get in contact with GW and do my best to get your order out to you. So we have Warcry in the store. We also have an older silver tower box and many other great things. We have some uh, war game stuff. These, of course, are my models for when you come down and play in our Age of Sigmar tournaments. So, and you can also see the Predator mask up here and my Great Goblin display right here. So until next time, enjoy your model and we will see you down here at Monster Hobbies.